Jackson. Look, they called the cops. We had to turn it down. What's good, man? Welcome back. We are finally going to install all this stuff in this Chevy Tahoe, man. You know, this is my homeboy's truck. This is the third system I've done for him. Uh, with the same subs, to be honest with you, but all new product. You know, every time, you know, it's always the same subs, but, you know, new amps and new speakers and everything, except the mids and high amp. But he ordered the Terra amps, uh, the Planet Audio, somewhere right there. But he ordered uh, Terra amps for him, along with the 10s, but he doesn't have Prime, so they'll actually be here within, like, a week or so. So we're just going to go ahead and, you know, install what we got right now, and then, you know, take that product out and put the new product in once it's here. You got the four sixes, four tweeters. Play around EQ, some sky high RCAs, uh, some speaker wire, amp kit, subs, uh, base 3K, the actual base uh, amp series. Man, those amps are really badass. And we got a Duracell 12 volt battery and the subwoofer box that we actually built and wrapped earlier today. In each spot, you can actually fit a six and a tweeter in the um, factory door. More than likely, we're gonna have to do a cutout for the tweeter on the actual plastic, but that's nothing. And then mount the six under as well too. Um, not a big deal. The only issue is that this is a nicer Tahoe when it was of its age and it has a bow system uh, So we actually have to bypass the amp uh, The bi the amp is actually underneath the console, but the speaker wires are right there You see the ones that are twisted right there. Those are actually when they're twisted. Those are speaker wires We could easily run a speaker wire into the door directly to the speaker which would be ideal to do but you know my friend you know he is not like one of those guys that you know where it has to be like that yada 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 uh, man he's just an ordinary guy that just wants to listen to a little bit of loud music bang um and it's still gonna sound good um yes you can go to the door but it won't hurt you know just to tap in to the wires coming off the amp from the factory amp on it you know going to the amp i mean you know what I'm saying? So it'll be all right. I'm gonna show you how to bypass it. The EQ is gonna go right here in this area. Uh, then we're gonna run the odd gauge running inside the truck and the amps are gonna go underneath the rear seat. Okay, so to me, the hardest part of the whole thing is really just bypassing it and which is really not a big deal. So we'll just unhook that and then we're gonna get a razor blade, cut the tape off and then pull the speaker wires, um, test them out, tone generate them just to make sure that they're the speaker wires and then we'll put ends on them. I'll put the speaker wire and run it along with the RCA so everything's all ran at one time. I'm going to do the first, the blue one first. Let's go ahead and get our wire crimpers. We'll clip it. Bam. So you see, I got my wire stripped and I got my battery. And then I'm going to put it in. You hear the popping sound? That's the, the rear uh, passenger speaker. So that's a speaker wire going to that. So we're going to do the same thing for all of them, uh, just to double check they're all door speakers and I think um, that's that'll be taken care of. So then after that I just got to put uh, butt connectors, uh, tie all the speak all four speaker wires up for all four doors, butt connect them here and then the amp is bypassed and now we have a signal for the mids and high amp. We're going to get our speaker wire that my boy bought and then we're going to put four speaker wires together for all four doors and then we're going to attach them with the RCAs and the remote wire and run them all the way to the back of the seat uh, so they're ready for the amps whenever it gets time to do the amps go ahead and mark the rcas just so i know when they get connected to the eq what's what okay now that we have our speaker wires and everything uh, cut out, cut all the RCAs out, and then we're going to attach everything together so we can all run it as one. So the factory amp has been bypassed, there it is right there, it's already done. And so now I'm mean, going to prep everything and get ready to run power from the radio to the EQ. And then, you know, we're going to do a relay um, because it is an EQ and two amps and possibly three amps, maybe four amps after everything's all said and done. Uh, EQ's already mounted in the cubby compartment of the center console. Uh, the wires are ran in the back already. 
So now I am going to run a power and ground and remote from the radio as well as RCA that's going to go signal inside the EQ. So it has to go radio, EQ, EQ to the amps and then that's it. There's no crossover or nothing else. Um, so let's take this uh, dash apart. Uh, this bezel just comes off and there's either 7 mils or those push tabs. Um, we'll see right now when we get the bezel off. Just like I detected the 7 mil. So there's going to be three of them to take them out and the radio should come out. I didn't do the radio on this truck, um, but it still works. I think he went and got it done. All right, it probably came with the truck. So this is what it looks like behind the radio. They got this thing all taped up. Uh, taping up is fine and everything, but like me that I have to go in there and do something, I'm going to have to rip this tape off and there's going to be a lot of gunk on there. Um, it'd be a lot easier just to do a few zip ties. Um, so the next person along the line can go ahead and work comfortably. And, you know, I would have zip tied the power a little bit better or connected a little bit better. So basically, I got to get ignition. I have to get constant and ground. And then we have to run a RCA from the front uh, signal of the radio to go into the EQ. Uh, so we get signal into the EQ to play out to the amps. So let me go ahead and run this RCA coming from the opening from the console going up. And then we can start doing all the connections and everything and put the radio back and get that done. So I like to, you know, do stuff and put it back as I go and make sure that it's solid so I know that it will work. A few moments later. Radio is back in. EQ is in there mounted. Man, it is ready to be jammed. Uh, so the next thing, what I'm actually going to do is I am going to open up this hood and I am going to start to run the power wire. All right, so there's less product than what we started off this morning with this build. Uh, zero gauge wire is ran to the back underneath the seat where the amps are going. The power wire is actually ran up here. We are going to ground, we're going to put a zero gauge ground going from the battery to the frame just so at least that holds up. Um, just to get a little bit extra voltage. And I am going to put a fuse holder back here right before you get to the battery. And then we're going to fuse the amps um, after the battery as well too. So, uh, I pretty much want to have everything playing. Once everything's done playing, then I'll swap out the door speakers. So, that's like really nothing. Um, so, you know, like I said, it's getting less and less product. Uh, it's almost getting there to start jamming. Man, I can't wait to hear this box. I know that's why you guys are watching this video. You guys want to hear this thing bang, and we're going to hear it bang. All right, so I'm checking in with you guys real quick. So, we're loading subs in right now. So, that's out the way. So, these subs are dual four voice coil. And they actually have jumpers that you have to, you know, jump on the actual sub to get an impedance out the factory, uh, ohm, like the speaker inputs. Uh, so it was jump, uh, I guess you want to say series. So the dual four was actually eight ohm, eight ohm, because more than likely the other amp that was on here was a four ohm amp. So we're going to jump it back down to two ohm. So they can, once we connect them both together, they're at one ohm because the Terra amps that we are putting in here is actually a 3K one ohm amp. So we need all the juice from it, man. This thing is going to bang, you know. It is a little bit too much power for these subs, but you got to figure if it's 3,000 watts, it's probably going to throw out a, a, a real deal like 2,000, 2,500 watts. And, you know, it's ideal for the W6s. We're just going to like really turn it down some. Um, we're going to adjust it to where the point where his sub knob is like pra practically wide open but the gain barely up just enough so that thing is beaten so even if he wants to you know really get heavy on his base knob it's still safely to play him and you're not getting the full power out of those guys Amps are in, they're wired up, everything's ready to rock and roll. Um, and I even tried to tell my boy, like, look, man, we can build like a quick little panel, this and that, you know, to make the amps look a little bit better. He's like, look, man, I don't even give a, you know, I don't care. You know, just wire them up, screw them down, we good. You know what I'm saying? He was all telling me, I just want to ride around with a system for a little bit. Then after that, you know, he actually wanted to do some W7s in here in a wall. But I told him, man, you might as well just get some Def Bonds or some Sundowns. So he's all like, man, let me look into these Sundowns. And then, so... We started looking at some, and I think the ZVs, or I think that's what they're called, or something like that, 218s. He was talking about probably like in the near, you know, probably in the next three or four months, we can do a wall with 218s, he says. But for right now, he just wants a little bit of bang. He wants to get back into the rhythm of having bass. And after that, he'll get bored with it, and then we can deck this thing out. 
subs are in they're playing i've already actually played it just to hear the bass the bass of beats guys but i'm not going to turn it on just yet because i'm here in the neighborhood still and i'm actually going to go to a gas station here probably like in the next hour to jam it but i'm going to go ahead and do all four doors and that concludes today's build man you know i didn't get a lot of action but i wanted to get the truck done and i know you guys want to see just like me the bass jamming so let me finish these four doors then we're going to go to the gas station get them good lights and get this thing beaten a few moments later so we got the the truck done i'm actually going to go to um the gas station real quick because your boy is thirsty i'm gonna get me a soda um and get a better video of the truck jamming but man this thing is beating you know look look <laughs> I, I think it's power hungry, man, and I barely got that 3K turned up. But right now when we get to the um, gas station, I'm going to set the mids and highs a little bit better. Um, I couldn't see where I was at, so I, I ain't nothing like them gas station lights, man. So let's go see what, what it is. Hopefully there's not a cop there. If there is, oh well. We'll get still doing it. Okay. Right, my They called the cops and we had to turn it down. You guys don't even care how they park, man. I actually adjusted the gains a little bit, so I'm actually gonna go to this other small park that's like really like right down the road. Hopefully that the lights are up, man, so we can get some good flexing action. You've seen a little bit of flex right there, but I didn't really turn it up because I seen out the corner of my eye that the, the police was pulling up, man. So your boy don't want to get a ticket in his boy's truck. You feel me? So let's go over here real quick give you another quick bass demo and then man, we'll, we'll call it done. So this thing's beating guys. I mean, I like it really good. It's jamming. All right, so it's another job done. Uh, the, the day when he brings it back so I can finish uh, doing the tents, I can get a better video of it during the day uh, with the sound system. But man, for the 212s, this thing beating, and like jail audios, man, they hit nice and smooth. It hits like all the notes, man, I love it. Um, you know, I think it's actually the loudest one that we've done with these subs yet. But I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, he's gonna bring it back to me probably like in a week so we can put the tens and then we'll get a better video during the day, man. But for now, man, if your boy's been working all day, you see it's already nighttime, we're gonna call it night. So hope you enjoyed this today's video and I'll catch you guys on the next one, peace.